So in this clip we're going to use Scratch to program a multiplication game very similar to Times Tables Rockstars. The first step is going to be an event to begin my program. So I'm going to use when the green flag is clicked. Now, um, every answer that is correct, we are going to award the user a point. And we're going to do that by having a variable. And we'll make a variable, and I'm going to call it score. Now, at the beginning, I would like the score to be set to zero. And as we ha are going to have a timed game, I'm also going to reset the timer at the beginning. My next step will be to generate a question. So I am going to have two more variables. I'm going to name these X and Y. And they will be uh, the numbers that go into the sum. So to assign a random number to the X and Y variables, I need to use the set variable command. And I'm going to, I've already done this for X. I'm going to set Y to a random value between 2 and 12. For some reason, we do our times tables up to 12. Now, to ask the question, I need to use the ask command, which is in the sensing group. Obviously, I'm not going to ask what's your name. What I am going to ask is what X times Y is. Now, there's quite a few items of information I want in the same ask command. So I need to use multiple of these join commands. So I am going to ask whatever is in X. So that's not the letter X. That is whatever the contents of variable X is, which should be a random number between 2 and 12, multiplied by whatever y is. Okay, I'm just going to test that little bit of code now. Won't be able to answer the question because I've not written the code to deal with my answer. Okay, that looks fine. Just to double check. I'll do it again. Should get different numbers because it's random. To check whether the answer the user provides is correct, I'm going to use uh, an if else statement. Uh, we call this selection. And we have a condition in here called a Boolean expression, which you might be aware of from your other work in computing. So uh, we're looking for an equals. And what we're going to do is in this part of it, we're going to put the user's answer whatever they type and press enter. So if what they answer is equal to what the actual answer is, so I now need to calculate that. So I am just using the X and Y variables. to create a Boolean expression. So just to recap, if their answer is the same as, is equal to whatever X times Y is, then I would like to increase the score by one. And I would like to tell them they've got it right. And if the result of this expression is false, then we'll do the commands in the else section. So in that case, I would like to tell them they have got it wrong. Uh, this should work fine for one question, but I would like it to repeat out for 60 seconds. So I am going to use a loop 
So I'm going to repeat all of this until this condition is true. So we have another Boolean expression here. So once we get to 60, and that's seconds for the timer, then it will stop. So repeat until the timer is more than 60 seconds. And then we will stop the script completely. And all that's left for me to do is to join that to there. And hopefully that should be everything sorted. So I'm just going to test this out by answering a couple of the questions correctly. And I'll get one wrong as well. You should see the score go up as I get them right. And if I get one wrong, it tells me I'm incorrect. And also the score remains the same. So you can copy and amend the code that I've just shown you. But I'd really like you to try and make some improvements to the game and give it a few more features. There's a few ideas here to improve the game, to give it some more features, but feel free to do anything that you feel would improve the game. Don't forget to show us your work on class charts and Instagram.